everyone, it's Leonie from the Stampin' Cafe. I'm here to show you today a cute little card using the Birthday Wishes, the Build a Birthday stamp set. It's great for birthday cards, it's absolutely wonderful for birthday cards. However, you can use it for other cards as well. It's not just for birthdays. Okay, so now you can do lots and lots of birthdays. You've got the birthday cakes, you've got the birthday stand, you can do with your little banner up the top and you've got flags to put on the top you've got a candle and a birthday wishes stamp set stamp as well okay but today I'm doing something a little bit different just to show that it's not just for birthdays okay I've got some great little cards here it uses the stamp set this is from the stand upside down with the edges cut off all right so to do your pot so this one's got three little flowers on it and that's got the the little flower from the accents punch pack okay then we have this one here again but we've got the, it's what they used to call pumpkin pots i don't know if they still call them that but it's like a terracotta pot and it's got the weathered look and i'll show you how to achieve that today and and this little thank you here is from the happy happening stamp set which is a great set with lots of different sentiments and stuff on it okay oh this one's upside down and this stamp is also from the happy happening stamp set and then I've just done this one this one's in the tip top top where I've stamped it off first to get that nice weathered look so I'll show you how to make this card today now these are all standard cards made from a piece of A5 cardstock the one I'm going to show you today I'm just going to use our note cards so you just fold them in half they all come pre-scored which is wonderful okay, you get a packet of 20 of these with envelopes so that's fantastic okay so we're going to do a little card this way in the landscape now before I start I'm just going to take a piece of white now, I've already got my stamps on my block. So this is the cake stand stamp. So I'm going to stamp that up. In pumpkin pie. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to stamp it twice. So you want to do one quick one and then another one and just give it a nice good push down. Now usually when I'm stamping off, I'll stamp it off on a um, piece on, just on the grid paper. But this way I've still got this stamp here to use on another project. Okay. So I've done that. So all you need to simply do with this one here is just grab your snips. See how you've got your weathered uneven look? Just grab your snips and cut him out. Just give it a bit of a border. And there is your little pot. Very cute. Hey, you could even turn that upside down and have it as a little skirt or a lampshade. So there's a couple more ideas for you. Okay, so we're going to take our little card. I'm just going to give that a little bit more of a score for this piece here. Now, just bring in this card, this card here, because you can see this one better. The stems here are done using the little flag stamp. Okay, so I'm just going to get my old olive. I'm going to ink that up. Okay, and I'm just going to, when I'm doing a stamp like this for the placement, 
Right, you don't want to put it too low because you want your pot to sort of be in the right spot. I just place the image that I'm going to put over the top upside down so the ink goes on the back. Right, and then we're just going to pop our flags down like so. Okay, we'll take our image away. Away now. Okay, and the sentiment I'm going to use today is the thank you. The sentiment I'm going to use today is the thank you from One Big Meaning. Okay, so I'm just going to ink that up. So pretty. over to the side like so and that's just stamped in the Razzleberry ink pad okay so now what we can do we just grab a dimensional to pop our pot on I'm just going to put one one in the center that's all you need you don't need to cover the whole thing in dimensionals. Okay, I've got my pot down there like so. Now for my flowers, I've got some pink pirouette and some razzleberry, and I'm just going to use that flower punch. Two razzleberry. Now I'm just going to pop those on with glue dots. Now a trick for using glue dots too is don't pick them up with your fingers because you're going to get the natural oils off your hand onto the glue dot so then they won't stick so well. So just whatever you're going to stick down you just pop it straight down onto the glue dot like so, give it a press and then just lift it off and then that can go over the top of that flag there and then with our raspberry ones Striking under and then one more. Okay. And then all we need to do then is just grab some of our pearls. You can use pearls, you can use rhinestones, whichever one you prefer. And today I might use rhinestones on this one just to show you the difference on how they turn out. I'm just going to grab my scissors to lift them up. So there you have your sweet little thank you card made with a happy birthday set. Okay, now there's just one more thing I want to do to this card. Now, in your stamp set, you have this little stamp here for the candle. You can put it on the end of your, um, your strips here for as a candle. All right, but you can also use that as a leaf. So I'm just going to ink that up. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim around that. I'm not going to worry about the wick part. Oh, you can if you want to. I oh, will cut it around it today. Okay, cutting 
it around. Okay, so there you have the little leaf, and I'll just grab another blue dot for him. So I can feed that down like so. And there is your finished little card using the birthday set for a thank you card. Okay, now with your note cards you get envelopes. I'll just move some of this stuff out of the way. And you can never send Never send a naked envelope, is what Shirley always says. So I'm just grabbing this little flower stamp here that coordinates with the very similar to the punch. Okay, and that comes out of the something to say stamp set. So if you're getting glare on that one, I'm just going to grab my pink pirouette, ink pad. And I'm just going to put a little pink flowers on that. I'm going to move over to Razzleberry. So it coordinates with my card. you have your envelope and there you have your matching card to go with it okay thank you for coming along today and checking out my video and I hope to see you again soon okay thank you hey if you want to play make it about a play It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see inside your mind You